Mr. Speaker, if the Honourable Member actually compared about, compared, cared about seniors, he wouldn't have been part of the government that raised the retirement aid. Shows telling Canadians they've never had it so good when after eight years he's not worth the cost of food. According to the hunger count by the Food Banks Canada, I quote, the number of people living in households struggling to afford food due to a lack of money have increased to the highest level on record, end quote. A record smashing two million visits to Canadian food banks in a month. And his plan is to quadruple the carbon tax on the farmers and the truckers who bring us our food. How many Canadians have to go hungry or homeless before he axes this terrible tax? The right honourable prime minister. No Canadian is struggling with the costs of food and groceries and housing. That's why we continue to step up to support them with measures like a ten dollar a day childcare, dental care for children, and child benefit checks. All measures that the Conservative Party has stood against, Mr. Speaker. We will continue to help Canadians. We'll continue our work to lift hundreds of thousands of kid, kids out of poverty, to lift over a million Canadians out of poverty. Uh, but there is much more to do. We will keep doing it instead of uh, giving into the Conservatives' demands for more cuts, uh, for cuts to services for Canadians, uh, to cuts to supports uh, that people rely on. Then I have chef de l'opposition. Actually, Canadians are making cuts to their food. They're cutting back on their standard of living after eight years of this Prime Minister who's not worth the cost. Back to that nightmarish report from Food Banks Canada, one Nova Scotian reported to researchers, quote, seniors are having trouble with home heating and many times have to choose between food and heating. Now, with heating, heating bills coming up again soon and a cold winter expected, Nova Scotians will have to pay his carbon tax, which he plans to quadruple. How many Nova Scotia seniors will have to go homeless or hungry in order to pay his massive carbon tax hike? Mr. Speaker, if the Honourable Member actually compared about, compared, cared about seniors, he wouldn't have been part of the government that raised the retirement aid, uh, driving seniors further into poverty. We brought it back to 65. We continue to step up with supports for seniors, and we're going to continue to stand and defend their pensions as well. Uh, while his Conservative colleagues are attacking the CPP, uh, he's finally realized that perhaps the CPP is a good thing, has come out in defense of it after a decades, Mr. Speaker, of attacking seniors and their pensions, of attacking attacking the CPP. We're going to continue unequivocally to stand to support seniors right across the country, uh, unlike the Leader of the Opposition. Not only have we always defended the CPP, the number of seniors requiring food banks was drastically lower when we were in government. Now let me take a quote a British Columbian who reported to the Food Banks Canada report the following. The cost of housing is indescribable. Many of our users are paying 50% of their annual income in rent to provide for accommodations if they can find them." End quote. This is the housing hell that this Prime Minister and the NDP have caused after eight years. Will he realize that we don't need more ho photo ops, we don't need more bureaucracy, we need more homes? Mr. Speaker, as the Leader of the Opposition has put forward no plan for housing, he lacks credibility on this issue. We are taking bold action to get more affordable homes built. Indeed, just today, the Minister of Housing is in British Columbia, is in Kelowna, for our most recent Housing Accelerator announcement, which will streamline building permits and allow for high-density housing near public transit, spurring the construction of up to 20,000 new housing units over the next decade in Kelowna. We're also working with Kelowna to make city-owned lands available for housing in partnership with nonprofits. And we look forward to sign more agreements right across the country delivering for Canadians on housing. Here, here.